He is known for his contributions to philosophy and theology in the 14th century. He is recognized for his appointment as Canon of Lincoln and Chaplain of St. Paul's Cathedral. His name is Thomas Bradwardine. Thomas Bradwardine, a scholar and theologian, was born into a family of gentry in Sussex, England. His exact date and place of birth remain unknown, but historical accounts suggest it to be between 1290 and 1300. Bradwardine's intellectual journey began at Balliol College, Oxford, where he displayed remarkable aptitude and received his Bachelor of Arts degree in 1321. His insatiable thirst for knowledge led him to Merton College, Oxford, where he furthered his studies and earned several degrees, including Master of Arts, Bachelor of Theology, and Doctor of Theology. Bradwardine's scholarly pursuits encompassed diverse fields, ranging from mathematics to theology. He made significant contributions to the revival of Augustinian theology during the 14th century. Rejecting the belief that God possesses knowledge of future events and contingents, Bradwardine challenged William of Ockham's opposing viewpoint. He firmly asserted that all evil acts of will are ultimately attributed to God, aligning with the concept of predestination. According to Bradwardine, human actions are not driven by personal volition but rather guided by God's will. He emphasized the inseparable relationship between providence and predestination, dismissing the notion that individuals can independently perform virtuous deeds. Instead, Bradwardine proposed that free will and predestination coexist within the framework of God's divine will. Bradwardine's theological theories were rooted in the tradition of Augustinian theology, which he played a pivotal role in reviving. His profound insights into speculative arithmetic, geometry, and the workings of the human mind further solidified his reputation as a brilliant scholar. As a theologian, philosopher, and mathematician, Thomas Bradwardine's intellectual legacy continues to inspire generations, offering profound philosophical concepts that explore the complexities of human agency in divine providence. Thomas Bradwardine, a member of the group of intellectuals known as the Oxford Calculators, was a brilliant mathematician and physicist who made significant contributions to the field of natural science. Alongside his fellow scholars at Merton College, Bradwardine delved into the realms of physics, astronomy, and mathematics, challenging the prevailing theories of his time. One of Bradwardine's most notable achievements was his formulation of the mean speed theorem, a concept that would later lay the foundation for the law of falling bodies, famously attributed to Galileo. Bradwardine and his colleagues recognized the distinction between kinematics and dynamics, placing greater emphasis on the former and investigating the nature of instantaneous velocity. Their groundbreaking work demonstrated that a body moving at a constant velocity would cover the same distance as an accelerated body in the same time if its velocity was half the final speed of the accelerated body. In his treatise, Tractatus de Proportionibus, Bradwardine extended the theory of proportions established by Eudoxus of Nidus. Remarkably, he even anticipated the concept of exponential growth, later developed by renowned mathematicians such as the Bernoulli family and Euler. Bradwardine's understanding of compound interest as a special case of exponential growth showcased his mathematical prowess. He also sought to reconcile the contradictions within physics by adopting Aristotle's description of the physical universe. Bradwardine's exploration of the link between power, resistance, and speed led him to reject four prevailing opinions that deviated from Aristotle's principles or lacked empirical evidence. Through an examination of ratios, Bradwardine refuted the notion that speeds follow the excesses of motive powers over resistances, as proposed by Avampace. He also dismissed the belief, attributed to Averroes, that speeds follow the ratio of the excesses of motive powers over resisting powers to resisting powers. Additionally, Bradwardine rejected the traditional interpretation of Aristotelian rules of motion, which suggested that speeds follow the inverse of resistances when the moving powers are the same and follow the moving powers when the resistances are identical. Finally, he discarded the idea that speeds do not adhere to any ratio due to the distinct nature of motive and resistive powers. Instead, Bradwardine proposed his own rule, asserting that the ratio of speeds follows the ratios of motive to resistive powers. Bradwardine's groundbreaking theories and mathematical innovations continue to reverberate through the annals of science. His contributions have not only shaped our understanding of physics but also provide insights into the intricate relationship between power, resistance, and speed. As we navigate our daily lives, we can draw inspiration from Bradwardine's dedication to empirical observation, critical thinking, and the pursuit of knowledge. Thomas Bradwardine, a renowned philosopher and scholar of his time, was not only known for his profound ideas but also for his expertise in the art of memory. This art involved mnemonic principles and techniques that aimed to enhance memory, improve recall, and stimulate the generation of new ideas. In his work, De Memoria Artificiali, Bradwardine delved into the intricacies of memory training prevalent during his era. 
One of his notable treatises, On Acquiring a Trained Memory, translated by Mary Carruthers, drew parallels to Cicero's exploration of the art of memory. Carruthers highlighted Bradwardine's unique approach, which involved vivid mental images, rich in detail, color, and animation. These images were arranged in a series of interconnected scenes, not only capturing specific content but also depicting the relationships among different elements. Bradwardine's techniques, reminiscent of active imaging described by Cicero, went beyond the mere recollection of facts. His medieval-inspired imagery served as a powerful tool for organizing and retaining information. By employing these visually striking mental images, individuals could effectively fix material in their memory and retrieve it with greater ease. The art of memory, as elucidated by Bradwardine, has practical applications in our daily lives. In a world overwhelmed by information overload, cultivating a trained memory can be immensely beneficial. By honing our capacity to remember, we can navigate through the complexities of modern life more effectively. Whether it is recalling important dates, learning new skills, or synthesizing ideas, the art of memory equips us with the tools to process and retain information efficiently. Thomas Bradwardine's insights into the art of memory continue to resonate with us today. As we face the challenges of an increasingly fast-paced and information-driven world, his techniques provide us with a valuable means to enhance our cognitive abilities and tap into the full potential of our memory. By embracing the principles of this ancient art, we can unlock new avenues for personal growth, intellectual development, and a deeper understanding of the world around us. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.